I'm excited about this one because it's not just a video player, it's actually uh, a new twist on engaging people through video and uh, the software itself allows you to engage people throughout the entire website based on what's happening in the video, which is really quite cool and, and really unique as well. Hey guys, it's Keith here. Uh, thanks for joining me uh, for this demonstration of Engage Player. Uh, what you're seeing here is basically the enterprise version of the software. Uh, we have three separate plans, uh, a basic plan, a premium plan, and the enterprise plan. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at kind of what each of these plans uh, and, and the features that you get with them. Uh, we'll start out there and then we'll go into the actual engagement player and show you the builder and how we uh, create these engagements. Okay, so let's start out uh, looking at the dashboard. Uh, basically, we provide two different views. Uh, there's the grid view and then the list view here. So on grid view, uh, what we do is if we basically, it will display the name of the engagement um, as well as if we roll over, we can take a look at the preview, grab the embed code, edit it, push to Facebook, Facebook, which I'll show you um, in, in the, that's a part of the premium plan, so I'll show you that in a bit, and then of course uh, delete it. Now those same exact op options are available on the list view as well uh, right over here. All right, so uh, what we'll do is take a look at integrations. Uh, now integrations, we offer I think it's seven or eight different different uh, engage uh, excuse me integrations uh, with autoresponders. Uh, the cool thing about it is you can you can add as many uh, as you like. So I can have you know three different Aweber uh, connections, three you know four get response whatever campaigns you, you guys are running or your customers are running. Um, they can have multiple instances, not just one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is you know I'll just choose one here and we're going to basically give it a give it a name. Um, call it my way my Aweber. And we're going to add that connection. Okay, so what you'll see here, um, it's, I'm not going to add them all. I'll just kind of show you uh, the difference between the two. Um, so uh, you guys all know how autoresponders work. Um, you know, some of them require uh, API keys. Um, so we, we go ahead and uh, get that information right here. Uh, some it's just a simple connect where it's just going to ask them to authorize that connection, like Aweber. Um, so uh, that's why you'll notice that there's a difference here. And you can also delete them and then, of course, edit them, um, you know, at, at your will. Um, so what also uh, comes with basic is uh, the reporting. Um, so right now uh, we've, we're able to do some beta testing uh, over the past week and uh, have finally gotten all that feedback uh, back with us and we're going we're gonna to apply some of those suggestions and one of them is the reports area. The graph that we were using we weren't real happy with, um, it wasn't the most user friendly. Uh, so we're tweaking that right now and have a much better, much easier graph to understand. Uh, but basically what reporting, what you'll get is you'll get the ability to choose uh, one or multiple engagements that you've created uh, as well as select a date range. And what it'll display is basically the average time on video uh, across of whichever uh, engagements you choose to view on that graph. Uh, so it gives them a really nice snapshot to see, you know, how if their engagement is improving, you know, versus some statistics they've had before. Uh, the nice thing about this is they can actually, you don't really even have to create an engagement. You could simply just put your video into the into our player and we'll go ahead and capture that that. Um, uh, that view time uh, as well, uh, so you don't necessarily need to uh, you know to create any any other type of overlays or you know forms or other types of engagement on the page to utilize the reporting aspect. But of course, that's the, the whole point of the software. So that's what uh, you know what most folks are going to do. And we should have that new uh, UI created here in the next uh, next couple of days. Um, so and then basically, obviously, you get the get the create engagement player, um, you know, as well with the basic plan. Um, so let's take a look at the premium plan. Uh, there's two things there. Uh, we have the ability to search videos. Um, so basically, you can choose YouTube here, and we'll just say oh marketing, and search. <clears throat> Uh, so basically, it will pull back uh, all your videos. Now you have a couple of choices here. You can create a new player right uh, right there. You can uh, by by clicking it, it will simply take you uh, right here to our first step of the builder and basically fill in in that that URL for you. Or you can go back to the search live uh, from here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop marketing back in there. 
Uh, what it'll also allow you to do is uh, you can save it for later. Um, so basically, I'll take the four principles of marketing and go ahead and save that for later, which then gives you the ability to go into your save videos and you can use it for later. So if you're just searching around looking for something that might be interesting for later use, um, you know, you're never gonna remember where it was. So this is a great way uh, for you to go ahead and, and save those uh, for, for later use. And you can create that new player uh, right from this button here as well under the save videos. Now, the other feature on the first um, uh, OTO here is the, is the uh, push to Facebook. Okay, so basically what this is gonna allow you to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and click this for you, um, is it will basically bring back all your pages that you have um, connected to you know uh, your 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 Facebook account. Uh, you'll be able to select that page. It will then show you uh, any existing tabs that you have that are editable. There are some that are not editable that Facebook doesn't allow you to edit. Um, so you could go ahead and choose uh, an existing tab, or if you don't uh, have that tab, you can create a new one right here. Uh, you'll then also be able to select the engagement player that you actually want to push to it. Now you'll notice that I clicked on dashboard, I've clicked this one here, um, and there, that's where the little Facebook uh, icon is there as well. Um, so yeah, I've clicked this, it's gonna go ahead and take it and it will preload whichever one that I've, you know, that I've clicked there um, for convenience so that you know which one, which one you're, you're going to be pushing. And simply hit save and it will push it out um, to the Facebook, uh, to the Facebook tab. And we uh, have the disconnect Facebook here. So if at any time you do just want to break the connection, just go ahead and click that. Uh, you can reestablish it the next time you choose to push one of your engagements to Facebook. I'd only ever ask you connect, to connect once. So once you have that connection made, uh, you can push whichever engagement, um, engagements you'd like to whichever tabs. So now the uh, that's what's uh, on the first upsell in the premium package. Uh, for the enterprise package, it's uh, white labeling. Uh, so basically, what you'll see then at that point is the users section and the white label options. So let's take a look at the users here. Uh, you'll have the ability to search just to narrow down your results. Uh, you know, hopefully, I would assume there'd be a lot of users um, that you were able to to sell the application to. Um, you can add one here. Uh, it's basic, some basic information, first, last, email, password, confirm, and it's basically going to allow you to uh, set them to a premium or a basic account. So what we'll be providing is basically documentation on how, for, for the endpoints um, for you know, a developer to go ahead and hook to JVZoo uh, and also to PayPal. Um, so all that documentation will be there, but a developer will be required to actually have that hooked up. There is no you know, interface for that in-app. Um, and then you'll get the white label options as well, uh, which we'll go ahead and just switch around here. I'll show you how that works. Um, so if I want here, you can switch the logo up and your company name, which I got there. Your support link, contact person, contact email. Uh, you're then allowed to customize the theme uh, a bit here. So your page top um, banner color and I'm by, by no means a designer so um, it isn't gonna be pretty uh, so let's take a look here so that's your font color though this is the, actually the background let's put the font color as white uh, the logo background I have a dark one so I'm gonna have white on mine the profile will set uh, there and then your menu some other shade of of this wonderful green color I've chosen uh, go ahead and save and there you go. Now, if you're playing around with it, you just go ahead and, and make edits as you see fit. If you decide you are not going to use that and you just want to use the default uh, engage player, you just go ahead and reset to default and everything will be back to normal. Now, we also are going to offer a pretty robust training section, uh, which uh, we'll be getting those all in here in the next few days. Obviously, I want to make sure the UI is is, is consistent um, so that uh, when when our customers are, are get going through the training, it looks exactly the same as what they're seeing. Um, so in the next few days, I'll be uh, putting together that, uh, that library. Um, so that's basically what you get uh, for, for the premium. Uh, excuse me for the for the enterprise. Uh, so let's go ahead and and kind of get into the actual engagement player. There's a, a lot of uh, a lot of ways to to create the, these engagements. Uh, so we have a lot to go through. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the engagement player uh, builder. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to find me a video here and uh, let's see here. Let's just go with marketing and. See, we have Ty Lopez. All right, so we'll create uh, this new player here, and we're going to go ahead and give it a name. Uh, call it Ty. 
uh, it already populated everything here. Now you're also going to have the abilities to put in an intro URL and an outro URL. So if you are using some YouTube video and you want to put your own personal introduction or your personal outro in there, uh, you just go ahead and copy and paste the link in there and uh, it will basically combine that into one large video which you can then build engagements around as well. So in other words, this source here, this source here, and this source here will really be seen by our player uh, as one long video so you can create engagements uh, based on at some uh, point in time in the intro, in the source, or in the outro. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save those and that'll take us into the actual builder. Okay, so let's look at a couple of the settings here. Uh, we have some templates, some about 10 pre-built templates, uh, layouts basically, uh, for customers to use if they choose to go that route. But I'm gonna actually show you from scratch because it's a very simple builder to use. Uh, we've got different grid systems here. So we basically have kind of 100%. Uh, we've got a 50-50 and so on. So I think you get the point there. Uh, it has different widths, different lengths, um, quarters or threes rather and quarters, okay. And we have some HTML elements that can be drugged to the page as well. Uh, we've got paragraph, image, a button, the, uh, the EP player, the engaged player, uh, forms, uh, YouTubes or, uh, or Vimeo videos, you can actually have more of those, um, a map feature, and then code if they just want to enter something, you know, um, if they're well enough with that versed in HTML, they can put their own code in there as well um, to have that appear. Uh, and then of course we have the times and the effects. So you're basically gonna have a start time and end time and you can apply certain effects to those um, or animations basically to the start and, and the end. Um, so basically what that means is start is when an element appears on the page, the end is when it would go away. You don't have to remove um, an element from the page. You can certainly just leave it blank and it would just stay there and remain there for the, uh, for the duration of the video. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get that one out of there and let's uh, let's build one out here. <clears throat> uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a 50-50. I'm going to go ahead and drag my engaged player, the actual video, in there. Okay, um, so the first thing we'll do uh, before we build out the entire page is let's just take a look at what you can do um, on uh, for the video overlays. Now, as I said, there's really two things that you can do. You can have um, callouts uh, on top of the video um, or you can have them on page or you can have both. But let's just start here. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at, at uh, the settings. Okay, so it's basically giving us our ID. Uh, now there's a lot of different settings, a lot of different combinations. So I'll just walk through a few of these things and then we'll, we'll, we'll just set one um, to uh, for the sake of demonstration. Uh, but you can certainly change your, your aspect ratio um, of the video if you'd like. Auto start, loop the video. Uh, you can hide video controls. You can resume where user left off. Um, so basically, I'll show you that uh, that example as well. And you can pause the uh, video when off screen. So if a new tab opens, uh, you can then you know have that video pause. Okay, for this example, I'm just going to flip these off for now. Um, then what you have is you're going to be able to style. So this is basically your styling around the the video itself. Um, so you can apply margins and padding to it as well uh, as well as a background. Um, you're going to have calls to actions or form overlays. So in form overlay, you can enable this. Um, you basically have some display options to show at the beginning of the video, at the end of the video, or a custom time. So for this example here, I'll just do a custom time of five seconds. Um, now this is the start time. Now the end time you can leave blank and it'll just stay there throughout the uh, length of the video. Uh, but for this example, I'm just going to put 10 seconds in there. Now, after submit, uh, it's basically going to allow you what happens, you know, after the uh, the user submits this this video. Okay, so we're going to continue playing the video, or we're going to send it to an external page. Now, if if uh, for continuing playing a video, we basically have another setting down here. Uh, it's what to do the form action display. So when it displays, what do you want to have happen? You want the video to continue to play? Great. If not then we're going to stop the video. So that's where this, this particular uh, feature would come in. So it'll continue after submit, but stop as soon as it appears. Okay, so we're going to just continue to play the video in this example so that I can at least, uh, at least show you the, the in and out. Okay, so what we're going to do then is go to our integration. Uh, we have the raw HTML ability as well as the autoresponder. So if I had some hooked up here, as you can see, a few of them sh uh, have shown up, but I have not made any connection. Um, it would then display your list. Uh, you can then choose the, now there's by default, there's placeholders, the, um, uh, the what's going to appear. So first name, last name, and email address are the three choices. You can enable or uh, disable, and you can choose to have them required if, if you'd like. And you can put your own placeholder in here as, as well. 
Okay, so uh, and then we have our button. So basically, it's just a default button there, but we want to say something like, you know, submit um, is fine. Uh, we have a lot of different styles here. You have a primary, a success, um, info. Uh, there's a bunch of different styles, or you could just do custom as well, which will uh, allow you to uh, set the background color. And you can do some default sizing there as well. Um, so what we also have is the ability to make it 100%. Um, we can have it centered uh, at a certain uh, percentage or pixel um, and then basically not centered so we have it over here okay so right now we're gonna have it centered and I think I'll just leave it at 60% that looks fine you can change font sizes some padding text color uh, the background color uh, as we have it as um, custom so let's go ahead and just pick a color there and then we have also you can choose to use shadows or not use shadows uh, you can set uh, horizontal positioning the blur the distance the vertical position and then the shadow color and I'm actually just going to turn it off for right now um, and then we have the border uh, so you can choose your border thickness and your border color as well as the radius okay so if we want to just ready a button and there we go all right so we can go ahead and hit apply and we'll take a look at that. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to save first. Oh, and one thing, let's check if we, what we set the, oops, to auto start. Um, no, actually I'm gonna turn the auto start on and save it. Okay, and then all we do is hit preview. And there's the forum as we've had it. My styling is terrible, but there it is. And there it went off, okay? So what we can do is make adjustments to that. Um, let's say we wanted it to, let's do the stop video and then continue after. Let's try that. Okay, and we'll preview. All right, so we'll go ahead and enter some info here and submit. And there it is, it'll tell him thank you. That will fade away. And there you go, it continues to play. Now again, we have uh, many, many different combinations of, of options here you know, for the form as to when it's going to, going to display. Um, alternatively, we can also use uh, calls to actions or you can use them both. Um, that's why we have the ins and outs. So if you wanted to show something, take it off the screen, off the video, um, go ahead and prepare for you know, a call to action or whatever else you may, wanna, may want to include. Um, so we'll just disable that and head on over here. And we're gonna basically have three types that you can use, the text, uh, an image, or a button. Um, so with text, you'll see we have, uh, you're gonna have some basic options there uh, to show at the, at the video, uh, beginning of the video, end of the video, or a custom time. And again, I'm just gonna use the example here. Uh, and what you want it to do. So same setting there as, as whether you want the video to stop or if you want it to continue to play. Okay, uh, now you have your text editor, which it, everyone's very familiar with, so you can have whichever text you'd like to, to display in here. Uh, we also have then the image. Um, so at that point now, all, all the options are the same for each of those call to actions. Um, we have external source. You're just gonna basically paste your URL in there as to what it is. Uh, everything is totally responsive, so you don't have to worry about resizing. It will take care of that for you. Um, you'll have external uh, for the, the uh, click if you want it to be, um, uh, to take them somewhere. Maybe it's an ad, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Open in the new window or the current window, and then where you'd like it to go. Uh, now we also have <clears throat> uh, the button. And the button is the same builder uh, that we have with uh, with the others. So we can go ahead and style that as however we'd like. Uh, label, there's where it's gonna go. Um, all the styles are the same as I showed you on the submit button. Um, so you have all the same options uh, on this to customize this button however, however you'd like. Um, so what we can do is let's just go ahead and throw a button. Uh, we'll do it, uh, let's see, let's do it at the end, I guess. Let's go end the video and this one's going to continue to play and we have click here sure whichever okay apply it save it preview it and what I'll do is just forward to the All end right, here magic I forgot to put my own <laughs> and there it is 
so you can click and if I had a, an href in here uh, then I would obviously be able to lead them somewhere so as you can see there's many many different combinations um, you know that, that you can use for these call to actions uh, and, and the overlays uh, directly over the video um, so for now I'm just going to disable this and save it <clears throat> And we'll go ahead and continue building out, you know, the uh, the page engagements now. Okay, so for the sake of time, um, with uh, the demonstration here, what we're going to do is uh, put a few of these on page um, engagements on. Uh, so to start with, we're probably going to, you know, maybe want to have it say something here, which I've recorded or I've uh, created a little piece of text here that we can use quick. Uh, so we'll go ahead and edit this and paste that in make sure our styles all get applied right so we'll format this h2 yeah, maybe we want to bold a few things and okay um, so we're good there all right so we want that to appear uh, and stay on on um, you know throughout the entire video um, so what we'll do then next is perhaps uh, some at some point in the video we want to demonstrate you know this coaching program that he has and maybe just list out a few benefits but we want them to stay on the page because we're already you know kind of prompting them hey something is coming um, so the next thing maybe we want to do is throw a couple of those benefits on so why don't we go ahead and add another paragraph here and we'll edit that and we'll say you know whatever whatever that benefit may be so we'll just just for sake of time we'll just say you know benefit one and we can apply that uh, we can then throw in another paragraph uh, underneath it, do the same thing. Maybe we have two two benefits that we're going to want to uh, to throw out there. Two. Throw them in bold. Okay. All right. So what we can do is we can also apply a little bit of a uh, little bit of margin and padding uh, on these if, if we want to. So for now, I'll just use uh, margin here. So we'll say you know maybe six. From that top, well, okay, I guess a little bit more than that. Let's do, let's do 20, and we'll put 20 on this as well. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we have three separate elements here. This one is going to remain on page, uh, but these we want to come out at a certain time. Um, so you can play the video in the builder here, and what we do right, is, I'm going to show you here, is there's a start time and an end time okay so we hit start time this is when we want it to appear okay so it'll pause the video for you and actually put in the start time now what we want to do is uh, if we wanted it to <clears throat> excuse me if we wanted to exit um, or to come off screen what we would do is uh, continue to play the video and then hit the end button okay so what that'll basically do then is enter the end time so at this point it'll come on at 8 and leave at 12 all right so for now I'm gonna keep these uh, I'm gonna keep these on here and for this one here, so we've got um, eight seconds there, and this one I'll just have come on a, a little bit after that, so we'll just say 10. So and this, and you can also manually just, just write in, uh, excuse me, manually write in when you want those to start. Okay, uh, or, or finish. All right, so now we have one coming in at eight and a half, we have one coming in at 10. Um, so what we can do is save that. Uh, now you can apply, um, you know, in and out animations to each of these as well. So like for this one, we could just do a, like a little bounce. Um, and then we could do for this one. Oh, let's just do a, I guess, just a, a, a shake. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's just take a look at that and uh, see what that looks like. We preview it. And we'll go ahead and play it. All right. The magic number, a million. How can you get a million people to pay attention? So we have our first benefit and our second benefit comes in. Okay, good. So we're good there. Um, so we can list out the benefits uh, if we choose. If there's more, that's great. And then what I'll, sh what I'll show you we can do is towards the end of this, um, you, you may have something that you want them to really to opt in on. Okay. Um, so we want to kind of display a form there. So what we can do is we can drag this form and plop down right there. Uh, we go in and edit. Uh, and obviously we want to style this and you know to whichever way you want to uh, but I'm just going to require uh, that they put their email address in uh, again we can style that button uh, as much as we'd like to um, for now we'll just do a little success and, an, and a join button okay so there we go all right so now what we can do is we can actually swap these out so these benefits can go away and this form can then appear at a certain time 
Okay, so let's just say, okay, so for these we have starts at 10. So let's just uh, say we want this to come in at, oh, 12, uh, let's go 14 seconds. And we want it to stay there till the end, so we're not gonna put an end on it. But we do want these to disappear. So these we'll say, um, you know, let's make them go away maybe a, a second before just so that we can kind of uh, see it happen. Okay, so we save. Good, and preview. And play. One, but after two, now they both go away and the email address appears. Now we can animate those as well, um, you know, either way so you can make them look nice without animations um, and same with, with um, you know, uh, animating the, the actual address in. Now with these forms, uh, you do have a lot of a lot of control. You can display them, display them, excuse me, inline uh, or t or stacked, uh, just depending on where where you where you have them. So if you have a um, if you have a horizontal form where you want to be drop this form underneath it, uh, then everything would would be next to each other. And of course, it's all responsive. So if it's on mobile or tablet or whatever size screen you have, then everything will obviously cascade down um, the way that it the way that it should, uh, so that it views correctly. Okay, so the final step is basically grabbing the embed, embed code. Uh, you can get there either through the uh, navigation up top here or just by hitting the next button and simply grabbing the script code, copying and pasting it into anything. Um, I'm using Optimize Press for the JV page you're looking at right now. So I'll go ahead and just I'll get that on there and we'll uh, take a peek here. Um, but here it is. Okay, so you'll notice that that's there uh, as we start the video. And we could autoplay if we chose to. It just depends on all the settings. And there you notice there's benefit one, benefit two comes in, and a few seconds later we should then see the form. And there's the form. So it adjusts, it makes room for anything that's coming on later, um, and, and, and so on. So as you can see, it's a uh, pretty powerful uh, software. There's a m million different combinations of the ways that you can use this. Um, you know, membership sites, squeeze pages, blog posts, uh, however you want to try to uh, you know really improve that engagement uh, and keep them and keep them um, locked into you know to watching your video.